Happy spring, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Stag TV. We hope everyone had an excellent spring break. Let's hear from some Deer Park staff and students about how they spent their spring break. Well, my family and I went to Phoenix, Arizona. I worked all spring break here. I took the weekends off and I didn't do much in the afternoons. My favorite part of spring break was being here at the school with nobody around. I wish I could have gone to Hawaii or somewhere tropical and uh, spent some time in the sun. Our next feature is how well do you know your coworker? Let's see how well Miss Barton and Miss Roy really know each other. Uh, Lord of the Rings. I don't know that she means, reads novels, but I know she reads comic books. Uh, California? She was born in Deer Park. Well, Spokane, but she grew up in Deer Park. Oprah. Hmm, famous Deer Parkians. I don't know. She's related to a couple people here in Deer Park. Some moms and dads of every like, student here, like Cutter. But I don't know if he's famous. <laughs> I don't know that she's actually related to anything famous. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Mexico? Maybe? Somewhere sunny. And probably like in the Caribbean. Uh, it's a Disney character. Um, this part of my Star Wars. And if I count Star Wars as Disney, then probably Luke Skywalker? Aladdin. Spring sports, yep, they are finally off and running. Let's see how things are going. Do you have a job yet? Do you need help with the steps for getting a job? Have you thought about doing worksite learning but aren't sure what it is? We interviewed some current worksite learning students to find out how they went about getting their jobs and how they feel about being in worksite learning. Take a look at this segment to find out more. I work at Deer Park McDonald's. I work at Costa Vida. Deer Park Vision Source. So I work at Deer Park Parkway. Um, I'm either working in the drive-thru, taking orders, and on the front counter, or grilling. Um, I clean, I greet customers, I prep food, help close the store, pretty much everything. I'm an office assistant, so I do kind of anything the managers tell me, and I'm learning optical things. So I'm an auto detailer, so I would go more of a thorough cleaning cars and sets of the whole vacuums and washes. I fuck them, wax them. I dig out dirt that's been in places people never thought they would be. I choose to do works at learning because I was, I was already, you know, working my job a lot and just bringing in my pay stubs to her and getting credit, why not? Extra credits to get out of school early to go to and make more money. Um, because it was an easy way for me to get credits while I'm working. I'm a very busy person these days and that really helps.
No, it's actually super easy. All you have to do is fill out how many hours you've worked in a certain month for each day, and then turn in your pay stubs to Ms. Demarest. Talk to Ms. Demarest and she'll get you involved. It's super easy to enroll. You just go talk to Ms. Demarest. Not at all. Why? Why? It's yeah. uh, very easy to talk to Ms. Demarest. You just make sure you turn in your work and have everything where it needs to be. If you need help with editing or creating a resume or cover letter, please see Ms. Demarest, the worksite learning coordinator in the production lab by the theater. Work on getting that job this summer so you can get a high school credit next year for your job. It's easy. Thursday, April 12th, was Drop Everything and Read Day. It was a great opportunity to dig into your favorite book. Let's hear more about Deer Day from Ms. Demke, our librarian. So Deer Day is April 12th. D-E-A-R, it stands for Drop Everything and Read. It's a national reading day, so I didn't just make it up. It's a real thing, you can look it up. And it's, the idea is it's to set, side, set time aside to read something that you enjoy. So we've got the English teachers involved in it this year, pretty exciting. So in the English classes, they're going to be reading on that day a book of their choice. And I've been telling them about all the new and exciting, this is just three of the very many books that I've bought recently. And we've got lots of really awesome books. Uh, what I like about it, it's new. Um, I've never done it here, and but it's just an exciting opportunity to read something for enjoyment. And even for those people who don't think they're readers or whatever, I guarantee you that there's a book out there that you're going to like. So Deer Day, it's pretty awesome. Also on Thursday, April 12th, Deer Park High School hosted the Northern Slam, a poetry slam event. We interviewed Dr. Dunn to learn more about it, and we have some highlights for you. Northern Slam is a competition where high school students, in this, this case, I think it's three different high schools, uh, Riverside, Lakeside, and Deer Park students get together. They've written poems and then they perform those poems in front of an audience. They're scored as if it's the Olympics, which is on a scale of one to 10 with one decimal point. The top scores drop, the bottom scores dropped out of five judges, and the three scores are added together in the middle. And the person with the highest score wins. Never had the courage to actually get up on stage and perform the poem. Maybe someday. To a poem from Kylie Pond. Mom asks, why don't you ever clean your room anymore? Because, Mom. When it's clean, everything is put away nicely. Everything has its own spot, and the room just feels empty. It reminds me of how alone I am. There's no chaos or difficulty. Are you ready for spring prom? Don't miss out on creating your snapshot in time. Prom is on Saturday, April 28th from 8 to 11 p.m. at the Old Service Station, now called the Genesis Event Center. Tickets are $30 until April 23rd, then there will be a $5 late fee. The last day to buy tickets will be April 26th. No tickets will be sold at the door. There will be a custom Snapchat filter, a professional DJ, balloons, dancing, and memories that will last forever. Get dressed up and Snapchat those memories with your friends. That's it for Stag TV. Thanks as always for watching.